Um, I guess I'll just change the settings to be fair. This one was played as best of three, and they kind of caught it like way too late. So yeah. Keep that in mind. This one is going to be best of three, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to have Extreme Dude and Scrap. A Zetter Ditto. Yeah, so Scrap's like another one of the players in this one that I don't really recognize at all. I'm just completely new to recess. Generally new to rivals, unless this is the one that played in all the um, Toxic tournaments, which might be the case. I kind of forget though. I certainly haven't heard of a mother be Rass or my time in ROC myself, but yeah. Extreme Dude is a household name to me. <laughs> this guy is everywhere, I will say. I've been playing uh, on and off in like Recess and Rass for a while now. Sure, for sure. Definitely very active. Even a really even, a little bit advantage for Extreme Dude. Scrub now kind of inching into kill territory. Fireballs. I'm kind of just, yeah, chilling with the fireballs. Holding back a little bit. And starting to look for an opportunity to find the kill, but being really, like, kind of slow with it. And not just gunning right for the opportunities he has. Because a lot of the times with Zetterburn, um, he has so many ways to get kills. Once you, once you kind of figure them out, you just want to, like, go for them a lot of the time. Yeah. Kind of seems scared. Extreme Dude seems scared to pull the trigger here. Had a, a few upfront opportunities, make make sure to close it out with that forward strong. But at 200%, that's not exactly when you want to be closing a stock out. And finally, finds his opportunity for it. Now it's Scruff's turn to do the same thing. See where these kill setups are at. Of course, the rock kills, like, Zetter can do that as well. Yeah. So you're generally going to see that with something like a fair or an up air or like a down shot. Ooh. Get a lot of extra credit on this stock. Might even lead to a kill, and it does! With a down air. They gotta be tacking those. Have to be. <laughs> okay, but the, the down strong roll, read the classic. The classic frame five. Okay, I'm getting himself back into the game a little bit. For sure, even if you get out of white, well. Every time a cream dude gets a hit, it kind of just. It's scary, really. Yeah. <laughs> No, not quite landing the bear, but doesn't need it. Down strong, gonna down be strong of his own. Crap with the character switch, interesting. That's gonna be a the crag counter pick. But Spirit Tree, which is a really bold counter pick against Cyberburn. Just Oh yeah. There's a few characters like Claire and where I can definitely see the merit, but Crag's an interesting one. We'll have to see how it goes here. Yeah, especially because Zetterburn really likes forward airs off the side of the stage. The overhang of the platforms here is really might just lead to kills at like 60. Yeah, now you know, granted, Crag also likes forward airs off the side of the stage, but <laughs> You that is very true. You definitely think of this as more of a Zetter stage a lot of the time. Yeah. Probably because Crag is just kind of good everywhere. <laughs> it's a terrible stage. Like, that's kind of the interesting thing when you're playing Crag and, and some other characters. You do kind of get to just pick wherever your opponent's worst in some situations. I'm chilling at it. Very, very high percent. I ate my words there, but it was a good, it was a good upset in that pair. Yeah. Following the DI. Oh, not ready for that. Probably wanted to drop down past the platform and keep the big, hefty fair. Definitely not. Nared right into extreme, dude. That was a good shine, but months an opportunity for a parry. These players just kind of getting ready to, to use their options at a disadvantage and kind of make their opponent play around the fact that they can match with this. <laughs> like, something that's like a super weak when the opponent catches onto it, but if they're not going to punish you for 
for it, then yeah, there's not really much reason to stop. Yeah. Go for dumb stuff until it doesn't work, really. Definitely something you can do, yeah. And, like, especially with Zetterburn, cool. wow. It's like with Zetterburn, there's a lot of merit in just kind of shining out of combos, because there isn't anything that's quite as good as a combo breaker as that. It is a very, very fast move. Covers all around him. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter what way you're facing as long as you press the B button. Definitely a lot, lot closer than the first center burn did out here. Yeah. That seems working out. I definitely think Scrub's a little bit more comfy finding these closes crack. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything too crazy, it's just generally standard crack stuff. But... So the name of the game is taking three stocks. Having <laughs> a character where you're comfortable getting kills is really important. Oh, goes for a bit of a read there. Wish the down strong though. Fitting? Pretty, I would say, with this percent deficit. Dude, just barely missing a chance for an upper right there. Oh! Wow. The hurt box shift uh, from Scrub. Yeah, it gets past the fireball and the hand hit box. Manages to get that up strong on the side of the stage. And we're going to go to game three, which is their final game. Yeah. And again, the character switch, this time on Extreme Dude's side, we're seeing a Rano. A Rano. Which, I didn't actually know that he had one, or at least that he was still playing Rano at all. Yeah. But yeah, I guess that's what we're seeing here. Uh, Rano Crag. This is always such a weird one. It is. It really is. Because, like, Rano can just blow up Crag sometimes. But also, you get edge guarded so, so hard by Rock and Spikes. Yeah. And just all that jank that it... And, like... I feel like Rana really struggles at dealing with Crag unless you exploit that weird, like, um, attack bug, whatever it is. Um, if you're not doing that, then yeah, edge guarding Crag is. <laughs> yeah, going off stage here, we may as well see it. Death? Up the hitbox is very, very large though on Rana. It manages to save Extreme Dude there. Yeah, it's one of those uppies where you absolutely have to respect the hitbox while he's rising. I don't like yeah. falling, honestly, if he's side kicking. <laughs> it's usually the direction, it's just a big circle. A little bit of a tech chase. Yeah, was... I like the idea. But... For sure. Not work out. Nice ledge cancel with the uppy there. Kinda improv. Not going for a confirm, unfortunately. Just kind of opting to down tilt again. Get to back air. Wasn't ready for the DI, I suppose. Big tongue. Almost carried off. Yeah, being to get at this percent against Craig, you kind of just eat an up air or a fair and you die if you're not perfectly ready for it. Like I was saying, <laughs> purple center stage, you don't like to see it, but that's high percent for you against Craig. Oh boy, that's a little bit scary. It's just a little bit too low to get a bigger follow-up, but... That could have ended horribly. <laughs> the streamer seems very, very patient on the edge. These edge guards doesn't seem comfortable going off stage per se. Much more prefers to just kind of stay on stage, throw your needles, wait for the landing, and then punish. And we might get a punish here. Ah! Oh, no. makes it to the top flat. Or the flat on the side. Yeah, it's just like had... Catching the, the platform with the fair probably would be better. Stuff, yeah. Like I said earlier, like, Rano, I forget exactly what move it is, but there is a way to make it so that Crag can't ball tech off killer. But if you're not doing that, it is really hard to go off stage against Crag. I think it's up air one. Is it up air one? Maybe. I've been it. doing it quite a bit lately, so 
And it's working, so that's yeah, that, that's my uh, source. <laughs> MSB mentioned it. It's mentioned one, one move to me, and he said their eye was like the only person doing it, so. I'm gonna have to ask him to remind me, but either way. Yeah. <clears throat> Bit of platform we come up for extreme today. We're able to, able to get a fair, but we're turning to neutral. Reach the tech. Big tech chases. Yeah. Uh, just showing the rock right in front of them. Extreme dude's kind of ready for how far it's gonna go. He's gonna be playing so, so very patient right now. Just kind of letting Scrub come to him. Yeah. Ooh, no pillar. Oh, no. Oh. That's strong. I probably wouldn't. I don't know. Up strong, fair. Yeah. More strong is not only the option you want to go for. Probably fair. Honestly, it's a better call. Like, it's definitely a weird chase of tracks and how hard it is to kill him. But. Yeah. Either way, Shrebu is still able to hang on to a bit of a hefty lead right here, and yeah, DI is in on the up there. That's definitely a weird move, because it does not send you straight up. <laughs> no, it's a DI. 